What? What is going on here? I, I can't. I can't find my mat. I can't. Greg's got my chair. But broken pieces everywhere. Lights laying everywhere. I can't. I'm gone for four days. What the hell happened? But you know what? We got some new Kershaw knives to show you. So if you like this video, smash that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, ring that notification bell, so you will know when we bring you new product. And in this video, we've got the one and only Jim McNair from Kershaw Knives. And we're going to show you the new 2022 releases for the beginning of the year of 2022. Now, this is not all the releases that they're going to have from Kershaw. It's just some of them that they're going to have. They're going to release more product throughout the year. But for the first of the year, we've got all the new releases, so check them out. And without further ado, let's light it up. What's happening, everybody? TC here with Smoky Mountain Knife Works, smkw.com. And today I'm joined by Jim McNair from Kershaw Knives. Jim, thank you so much for joining hey, us. Appreciate for it. Me again. And um, so this is for your 2022 release. And we want to say this is not everything for 2022. That's correct. This no, we're, is we're just for the beginning of the year. Yep. Um, so we're going to go through all the knives in the January release for 2022 from Kershaw. We've got some really, really cool new products here that we are super excited to see. I know I am. I, we've been looking these over, and um, I'm really excited to get these in the store. Having these in hand has been a lot of fun, and um, some really cool new concepts from you guys. So let's start um, with the new launch series here okay um yeah. so everyone knows the launch series from kershaw um and how amazing these things are as far as affordability when it comes to uh an automatic i mean nobody really does an automatic this good for this kind of price point i mean it's it's amazing what you guys are putting out there and of course these are made in the usa and premium materials and this is the launch 14 it is yeah so this is kind of a departure for us because our our launch series have always been solid um, mostly the the two-piece construction with the aluminum handles i think we have one where we have a backspacer in it but the majority have been this kind of this kind of construction that you see and this one's a departure because we for the first time have a carbon fiber it's not even really an overlay it's part of the handle yeah so yeah. That, that is kind of a sub handle and then they they bolt together and it makes a really nice break in the handle, a bit of more of a traditional look with that bolstered appearance. It does. And you can feel there's a weight difference there. You can actually feel the weight difference from front to back. And uh, it feels really nice in the hand. Um, definitely saves the weight. And I like the finger choil in there. Yeah, yeah it's um, got, that big, it's yeah. got that big blade. It's got the big uh, cleaver style that you can choke up on. And a black wash finish. Uh, we have a gray aluminum on the a, gr a gray anodized on the aluminum on the front and the back, and solid black carbon fiber for that sub handle. I guess is what I'd call yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. It's really it's really not an overlay. It's part of the handle. Um, and again, we're we're working really hard to get that good snap in the blade. We really feel like that's important with automatic knife. They we don't want them just kind of slowly yeah, right take their time moping out there <laughs> and being such a big blade that one's got a real a real thump to it when it yeah, goes. Yeah, it does. It absolutely does. Um, I, I love that thing. And of course with the CPM 154 blade steel, yep. um, a, a great option, um, very good, substantial blade steel and, uh, also affordable. Yep. Um, that's another thing that I love about this series is they're so affordable for what they are. What that one, what's that one coming in at? That one's coming in at two thirty nine ninety nine. So that's a awesome. little more than the other ones because of the construction of the handle. Right, right. Absolutely. But I mean, again, that'll be less at retail. Yeah. Yeah. So moving right along, keeping in the uh, USA made section, um, this one here. So this uh, is the Federalist. That's correct. Yeah, this is the Federalist. And so this is a uh, 
this is a, a new a new one for the Kershaw lineup where it's a USA made um, non locking slip joint. And so again, it has that double detent construction that makes it so smooth and so easy to open. Yeah. And that's that was key to this. We really felt like if it's not smooth, it what's the point? It really exactly. needs to just have that buttery feel to it. And it's got that stop in the middle right there. It does. Uh, you could call it a half stop, um, but it's a, it's just another detent um, going through there. And that's just a beautiful design. It feels really good in the hand. Micarta handles. Yep. yep. Um, green carvis, uh, OD green canvas micarta. And in this case, we've we've tried to give it sort of the modern traditional feel. So we have we have the shield being part of the pivot itself rather than being down in the middle of the handle. Right. Um, nice drop point blade style. Uh, real slim blade stock, and I think that's kind of crucial to this knife. That it's just very very slicey with the full yeah. flat grind. Yeah. Um, and it's got a very keen edge being so thin. Um, that micarta is going to, as, as you know, it's going to kind of darken up and, oh, yeah. and get its own kind of look over time. Get um, the oils from your hands on it. And yep. again, with the CPM 154 blade steel, Correct, I think yeah. that's a, a fantastic option on that. Now, what's that one coming in at? So that one is coming in at one sixty nine ninety nine. So again, we think that'll be a really reasonably priced yeah. knife for, for USA made traditionals. And we think we'll do well with it. Absolutely. So next up, we have the Inception. And this is a really, really cool knife right here. Um, G10 handles. It is. G10 handles, steel liners. Uh, this one is running on our KVT ball bearings. And it's it's a manual action, not an assisted. But it's really, really slick and smooth. Yeah, it is. It. I mean, it just pops right out there with that flipper. Yeah. So it's got a relatively thick liner. It gives it that kind of beefy feel but the g10 is thin enough that it's it's not overly thick in your pocket and it has a little bit of an offset where you where that liner sticks out from the g10 yeah it's on purpose it gives and it kind of a feel and a look it it does i really like how the, that liner actually outlines uh and kind of silhouettes the uh the g10 handles it's almost like a pinstripe around the whole yeah. thing when you lay it on when you didn't look at it and another thing i was noticing when, when you first pulled this one out was um how this spacer right here has the lanyard tube built into it so right. that's that's a really nice addition right there um because you needed a spacer right there but you also needed you know to put a lanyard hole somewhere right so that's a that's a great design feature there love that and coming in with d2 tool steel correct yep and how much is that one going to retail for so that one is 99.99 awesome yeah and I love the grind work. I love uh, I love the two different grinds right there. It, it just gives it, it, like when the light hits it, I think it looks really cool. It, it's an almost jeweled effect when you yeah. have the extra. So Project Atom is something we started um, last year. Um, these are polymer knives. Um, they're, and so they're, I, you know, I'll just say it. I, I call these kind of a choose your own adventure knife. Yeah. Where what, what do you want to do with it? You know, it's, it's, a, it's, it's a very reasonably priced product, both of these. Um, so... This one here, this larger one, is called the the interval, and this little guy here is called the electron. And so they are they're both very sleek, very small. Um, they come just like that. They are both fourteen ninety nine each MSRP. Um, and so we also we, we have a little piece of steel molded into them, right? Um, and so they, you're not trying to you know make a shiv here. No, here. no these, <laughs> these are not getting through uh, metal detectors or anything like that. Into a cake and bring them to prison. <laughs> you know, they, <laughs> But they are. But being made out of that <coughs> nylon material, it does make them very weather resistant. It really is something you could. I mean, you could hide it in a flower pot. You yeah. could do a lot of different things with it. Or you know, it could be. A, it makes a good kind of training tool with a young, with one of your younger kids. Oh, absolutely, yeah. Um, they do have a point, but they don't have an edge. They can be sharpened again, but this is how they come. So the uh, the electron is based on the idea of kind of like the old um, World War II sleeve daggers. Yeah. So it's that that kind of small, considerable. <coughs> Um, concept. It's you see, it's got the asymmetrical blade where it's it's hollowed out on the back, and then it's got the kind of the, the molded flat grind on right. the front, and nice grippy texture on the handle. So being really little and small, it's still you don't tend to lose your grip on it. That's um, really cool. Whereas the interval is is the biggest of this series that we've done so far, where it's a little little more almost a full hand, and again it makes a makes a really nice little letter opener or whatever you'd like to do with it. But it's got yeah. a nice texture on the handles and a little more depth to it. Um, kind of a crown design, so it's comfortable. But again, these are just, they're fun, they're different. 
they're, Absolutely. they're really quite inexpensive and kind of what, what, what do you want to do with them? Yeah. You know? And I, I really like the idea of using them as training tools. Um, you know, we were talking about our kids earlier. Uh, my daughter's six years old and, um, you know, I, I've gotten her, a you know, like a Victorinox, like toy yeah. knife to kind of teach her the ins and outs and yeah. the parts and how to, how to, you know, use it safely. But this is, this is another great option for something like that. Um, a, as a teaching tool. Yeah. I, I like that. I like that a lot. So moving right along, do you want to go with this one here? Yeah, we can do There that. we, we go. We can do the, the Lone Rock RBK. Yeah. So, so this thing's really cool. And, and we've been talking about this. I like the package first and foremost. So it's got the belt clip. It's got it's got the buddy handle. The buddy handle. So if you if your buddy's there and it's getting dark and you're you're dressing a large animal and you need some help, yep. you can hand him one of your spare blades and that that molded handle and it's enough to get the job done. Yep. And now it comes with spare blades. It does. Comes How many with, comes in uh, in the pack here? Uh, Fifteen. Fifteen. Wow. Oh my goodness. So yeah, you come with it comes with fifteen spare blades and they are that standard number sixty scalpel blade style. So if you can't access ours, you can get blades that will fit it. I know that can be an issue for some people. Um, and then what I, my favorite thing about this, we've, we've, re, we've retooled it completely. It's a whole new, all new design. Um, and we have, the, we have the two shot handles with the hard, with the hard nylon and, and the molded rubber that gives it a nice grip. Um, we've, we've made it nice and sleek. And then my favorite thing about this, this retooling is that we have this, this right here. So if you press upward on that, that allows you to lift the blade. Yes. It, it lifts the back of the blade for you, so you don't yep. have to have your fingers on it. So that's something that, that makes I like a about big that. difference. That yeah. makes a big difference, especially you were saying earlier. Like if you're if you're field dressing something, um, and your hands have already got blood on them or yep. something like that, yep. fat um, tallow, yeah, and you need to change out your blade. You've nicked something. Uh, that can get kind of kind of dicey uh, yeah. once you get in there trying to change out a blade yeah, and you're you're in the middle of something. So um, I, I love that feature. I think that's excellent, yeah. um, adding to the safety of that. And this is a great great little package, like you said, coming in with fifteen extra blades. Yep. And I love the buddy handle. I think that's a really cool concept as well. Um, that, yeah, just definitely adding to that package and a great sheath. Um, and the belt clip right there. I, I think that's that's a fantastic package. How much is that one going to run? So that one's going to be fifty nine ninety nine MSRP. Wow, that's a great deal for a, a great hunting tool right there that um, is really going to get the job done. And it comes like with that. everything you need right out of the box. Yeah, yeah. It, I mean, you're ready to g just put it on your belt and go. Yep. Fantastic package right there. All right, next up. Okay, so this is the jet packs. We're getting into kind of some of our new... Um, assisted opening, everyday carry kind of knives. So this is called the Jetpack, and again, it's kind of a kind of a chunky little fella. Yeah. Um, really wild design on this one. So we have the I don't know if I'd call it a two piece or a four piece handle overlays. I guess there's four. Right. Of them. Um, so it is a speed safe mechanism. So again, that's that's hidden in that that first handle there. Yep. Uh, it's a Tonto blade. Um, just a beefy, cool little knife. It's I mean I. Your, your backspacers come through the handle as well, forming an extra kind of pseudo yep. inlay on there. Um, liner lock construction, uh, speed safe assisted opening, reversible pocket clip. Um, comfortable, not not too big, but not too small. Right. And that's got an MSRP of forty nine ninety nine. Oh, so that's, that's a great pack. deal. Yeah, I like that thing. That that looks like a transformer right there. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, that's a good one. This next one here is one of my favorites for this year. This is called the Lithium. Um, so it's got that kind of split handle construction with the uh, with the with the G10 textured nylon inserts on. They really are. I mean, they're I call it an insert, but it's it's flush with the handle and it yeah. wraps around the corner. So it's it's part of the handle. Um, so this one is a frame lock. Again, it's assisted opening. Um, we have an 8CR steel uh, reversible deep carry pocket clip on this one as well and just a really sleek fun easy to carry little knife there this lithium here how much is that one coming in at so that comes in at 64.99 msrp that's fantastic that's great right there i, I like it I, I don't know I, I don't know what it is i love the lines back here on the back end here i, I it's almost like it uh reminds me of a yacht 
or an ocean liner, it's, it's kind, of the, kind of that kind of that little deck yeah. back there. Like that's where the pool lives. Absolutely, sure. yeah, I like that. So next up on the table, we've got this one here. This is the salvage. This is one of my other real favorites from this year. It's just kind of a fun design. Um, we have the we have again we have the the molded nylon overlays with the G10 texture, but a very unique look to it. Uh, we have we have the, the stainless steel handles, frame lock construction. And this one's a one position deep carry pocket clip. So sorry, lefties, that includes me too. <laughs> um, but again, kind of that reverse tanto blade with a nice usable profile, um, and just a real neat look. I love that OD green. That really that color yeah. always does it for me. That's a that's a very slick look. Now, how much is that one going to run? That one's going to run sixty four ninety nine MSRP. Nice. Fantastic right there. And I love that stone wash finish on the blade. I think it, it just looks really it's, it's cool. It's almost a tumble polish. It's yeah. got a little bit of sheen to it. Just enough. Now next up is this one. And this one's got a really cool look. This is the flatbed. And so this is a this is a big kind of burly Tonto knife. Um, so it's definitely got that tactical look about it. And it's got the, the nylon handles with the G10 texture again, but lots of lots of kind of machined look to it. And my favorite thing about this one is that big steel overlay. Yeah. So it's got the big stamp steel piece. Um, black wash just like the blade, so it all kind of flows together. And, yeah, assisted opening, reversible deep carry pocket clip. It's got that kind of groove in the top of the blade that your thumb fits into real nicely. Yeah. As well as the jimping at the back. So it makes it kind of comfortable to hold and use. And, and super lightweight for, for its size. It's, it's very lightweight. Yeah. Yeah, it makes a big difference with that particular construction. Yeah. And then an MSRP of forty nine ninety nine on this one. Nice. Now, up next, one thing that you guys aren't really necessarily known for, but are really doing a phenomenal job as far as I'm concerned, is your slip joint knives. We've already talked about one. Uh, we talked about the Federalist. Um, but you've got some really cool slip joint patterns here um, that are kind of... I would say, and we've been talking about this a lot lately on the channel, about bringing a, a modern feel to a classic type design. Yeah. Um, and first, uh, let's talk about the the most, I guess, traditional the, yeah. of the of the group here, and that would be the this uh, Stockman pattern. Yeah. So what's this one? So this one is the Iredale. And so that that's our again, as you said, our three blade stockman. But what I love about these knives is we we challenged our we challenged our other designer. We said, hey, we want to take a traditional pattern, but we want to kind of make it our own. And so he made his vision of what he thought a stockman should be. And I think he really achieved something that manages to be in that traditional category, but still be unique. Yeah, it's got his own. It's it's not just the traditional pattern. It's got its own thing going on. Um, so these have a canvas micarta that's been polished, and I think gives it a great look. Yeah, it does. Um, it's got your traditional stockman blades with your sheep's foot and your and your pen blade, and then your 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 little the little spay blade on there. Yeah. And I just think it's it's a really fun knife. Um, they they fit in the pocket really well, nice and slim and narrow. And so these ones they 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 vary in price by about five dollars. So the more blades, the more money. So this one is fifty nine ninety nine MSRP. And then as we go down in price, they each go down about five bucks. Okay. And the walk and talk on that, the the snap to it, it's just fantastic. Really like that one. Now, the next one is a really cool combination. We were talking about this before. Right. It, it's like you took a trapper and melted it with a doctor's knife. Correct. And yeah. um, uh, this is another thing that I mentioned earlier. I'm a sucker for long pulls. And uh, this one has those, and just love the feel of that knife right there. Yeah, especially and, especially on that that spear point yeah. blade, that long, long slot yeah, in there. It really give it really adds to like the classic feel to it. Um, but this one feels so good in the hand. I love that handle design, um, and this is a beautiful, beautiful knife. What's this one called? So, this this one here is the is the allegory. MSRP and that one will be fifty four ninety nine. Okay, so two blade doctor's knife slash stockman kind of pattern, and I'm sure someone will correct me. Who knows? <laughs> who, who who knows better on the history of these? But it's it's a it's a neat shape and it's different than a traditional stockman. It's got that flat hammer butt on it. Yep. Um. And again, it's got the same polished canvas micarta handles, which just 
have have its own. It, it's a again modern traditional kind of thing. It's yeah. it's it's a traditional feel with the polishing and and the way it's shaped, but um, but it's a modern material with that canvas micarta. I love that. I think that's I think that's great. And now the single blade and this thing's really cool right here. Uh, this the, the, massive cleaver. The, that one's the most piratey of them all, and we, yeah. we call that one the parley. <laughs> uh, MSRP of forty nine ninety nine. Before I forget, but yet I mean that cleaver blade style has been so popular, and again, it, as much as that's maybe isn't as traditional of a style, I really feel like it fits with this knife. Yeah, um, it's one of my favorite applications of that style of blade is to put it in this traditional. I never would have thought it, but you mix that with with the with the polished micarta and the stainless bolsters, and I, yeah. I love I love the brass liners. They just yeah. really set it off. It, especially when you look at it from that angle right there, it really makes a huge difference. The contrast there yeah, looks really, really cool. And again, with the long pulls, I'm a sucker for them. Yeah. So one you've blade, got the two lanyard. blades, or three. It does, and it has the lanyard tube. That's awesome. And yeah. that one's coming in at 49 Yep, yep, forty nine nice. ninety nine. And there's one more here, and this is another slip joint. Uh, that's really cool. So this is a detent style slip joint. Correct. So this is the esteem, and so this is a this is a double detent style with the little I always call them little finger tabs on the right. inside versus a back spring, and it's really smooth. Uh, it has a combination of a steel handle and a polished G10. So I know it, the lighting may not always show it, but it's a it's a it's a machined and polished G10. It's got a real nice look to it. Um, kind of a slim blade. Again, nice and slicey with that full flat grind. It has a deep carry pocket clip that's single position. Um, cool big decorative pivot hardware with that bronze finish yeah, on it. Yeah, I like that a lot. Um, and an MSRP of sixty four ninety nine on this one. That's a really, really cool design. Nice and slim. I like the lanyard loop right there. And it just feels great in the hand. This is one of those that is going to be very slim, very unobtrusive. Yeah. Um, another one of those gentlemen's carry kind of things. Yeah, uh, a good Sunday carry. And the nice thing about this is that I mean, it, it depends on personalities. Like for me, I I don't always work well with a slip joint that falls down in my pocket. They tend to fall right. sideways on me, and I yep. I don't maybe I, someone will have to teach me how to do it right someday. So <laughs> I think it's nice to have some of them have the pocket clip. Yeah, like this one does where you can you know where it is and it's kept up in that position. So for those who are like myself who are a little newer to the slip joint game. It's a little easier to get into one with a pocket clip. Right, right. And what's that one coming in at? Uh, Sixty four ninety nine MSRP. Okay, that's awesome. Well, Jim, we are super excited to get these in stock. It's been really fun having these in hand. Thank you again for joining us. Really appreciate Thanks it. For me. And guys, you saw them here first. We're gonna have these in stock now with this video. All you gotta do is we're gonna have the links to these items in the description below. They'll be up on our website. And as soon as we have them in stock, they're going to be available. So if they're not in stock yet, uh, all you got to do is click the notify me button and you will be notified as soon as these are in stock and available. Folks, we hope you enjoyed this video. Again, like, share, comment, subscribe. And remember, if it cuts like a Kershaw, then we carry it.